going on traders just wanted to bring y'all another quick video um, had a pattern feels a garlic pattern that filled for me yesterday and I wanted to uh, just do a quick video showing you how I took the trade how I set it up how I caught it for me and uh, you know some things that you can do or look for before you actually consider uh, you know taking a trade opportunity um, but this is a garlic pattern that I saw set up on the pound dollar pair um, the 15 minute time frame so I caught about 25 pips on the completion and I know that might not sound like a lot but trust me 25 pips can make you some money because I had two five cent lots in and those lots each lot made thirty dollars so that was sixty dollars I made in roughly two hours okay and that's pretty good for me you know I'm not greedy like I said take the small gains to build your account this is this is how uh, the most professional traders do it okay and this is my first time using this setup right here on trading view um, especially live for you guys um, so I'm still getting new used to how the tools are uh, are used on here like I see they have the fib retracement options uh, the text ABCD pattern completion stuff like that um, it's a lot for me to work with here which is honestly why I'm considering making FXCM my new broker because the fact that I'm a pattern trader and they have all the tools for me to use um, I feel like this would be a better route now I'm using uh, traders way right now and traders way is pretty good when you consider uh, the low spreads um, and the restrictions that's uh, never imposed on trading I really like that you know they let you do what you want to do which is why they call it traders way but uh, yeah when you consider the fact that I'm a pattern trader I feel like this would just be a better route for me to go but anyway I'm gonna get right into it I'm gonna draw my fib here and show you guys how I caught this pattern set up yesterday swing low to swing high And if you look at this very first retracement, it comes down here to our 61.8. That's the golden ratio. And when I refer back, refer back to my harmonic sequence chart, I can see that for a Gartley setup, the very first retracement should be 61.8. Nothing more, nothing less. After that, we're looking for a 61.8 retracement or roughly around 100%. Um, now, some people might tell you to uh, just... If, it, if the pattern goes outside of 886, then you shouldn't take it. But this is why it's important to backtest because when I backtested this Garley setup, I noticed that sometimes the BC leg would extend up to that 100% retracement before rolling over. So, um, like I said, it's about backtesting what works for you on the specific pairs and time frames that you usually trade. So the first retracement was 61.8, that's valid. And now we look for our second retracement. So I'll pull the, uh, the fibs down here. Boom, our second retracement comes where? It's right to the 61.8. So we are still valid for a Gartley setup. I'm gonna pull the fibs back down here. We are looking for a final completion of what? Let's let's check that out again. We're looking for a final completion from our CD leg to be 78.6. And at the 78.6 retracement is where we will make our entry. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it up here. You wanna measure the entire move for the last leg to find that 786 completion. And just to make it a little bit easier, what I'll do is pull up a, a pattern completion tool. Draw my fibs from A, X to A, A to B, B to C, and you're looking for the CD completion right here at the 786. Okay, so if I was to take this setup, what I would look for, I would look to place um my buy limit order right here and i will put us just slightly above the 786 so i can make sure i'm filled okay I'll put it right there you would look to place your stops right here below your x leg 
just below the X leg, not to be too far. And I'll actually adjust the color of that, make it easier for you guys to see. And you always want to put your targets where? At the 382. The 382 is where you want to put your, your uh, targets. I don't know why these patterns always complete um, right at these targets. Sorry about that. Damn pop-ups. Um, I'm going to play this out tick by tick to show you guys um, exactly how this one played out. Okay. So boom, right there, you can see our limit order was filled. We have roughly around a one to one risk reward ratio at this point. And I'll change that really quick. Our risk reward ratio at this point now that we've been filled is one to one, okay? And as you can see, as I play this out, what happens directly after that 786 completion we literally see the rally <laughs> up to our targets and we make 25 pips easily and we are exited out of that trade what happens after we exit boom the market rolls over and the rest is history so these pattern formations man these is something about uh the way these rate these ratios line up uh that allows me to make are really good entries and I'll be honest every pattern setup is not gonna lead to profit this is a game of probability so you want to take the route that leads to the most likely profit you know what I'm saying so when you find yourself a system that works eight times out of ten you're gonna be profitable bottom line you stick to your rules you know follow the guidelines and you will be a consistently profitable trader so for anybody out there who want, uh, might want help uh, learning these pattern setups and sequences and exactly how I do it, I'm willing to help, willing to do one-on-ones, uh, just inbox me, let me know you're interested, and we'll go from there. But thanks again. I just wanted to put this video out there real quick for you guys. Remember to scroll over to our Rocks Enterprise page and give us a like, and I'll catch y'all later.